Ananda Mahima is a greatly revered saint from India who Yogananda met with during his journey back to India from the United States back in the 1930s. I really didn't know much about her, and then I heard her name mentioned again when I was attending the week-long Self-Realization Fellowship Men's Meditation Retreat in Escondido, California in 2016. Since then, I've now read two books about her, including the book the Essential Sri Ananda Mahima, written by Alexander Lipsky. This is a wonderful book discussing her life and many of the significant moments in it, and it includes a good number of pictures within it, too. But there's one story from Ananda Mahima in the book that I found to be riveting, specifically on the subject of destiny, and I'm going to read that story to you right now. The wife and children of a learned Brahmin had been killed by a poisonous snake. Deeply distressed, the Brahmin went in pursuit of the snake and finally located it in a nearby forest. As he approached the murderous reptile, it turned into a buffalo. Subsequently, the buffalo pounced upon another buffalo and killed him. Immediately thereafter, the killer buffalo transformed himself into a beautiful young girl. Two men happened to pass by, and both instantaneously fell in love with the maiden and started to fight with each other over her. When one of them was fatally wounded, the maiden walked off nonchalantly. The Brahmin who had watched the various transformations and the tragic killings finally caught up with the girl and, deeply mystified, asked her who she really was. I am destiny, she retorted. When he inquired what destiny was in store for him, she informed him that he would die through drowning, whereupon, poof, she disappeared. The Brahmin was determined to defy destiny. Since he had lost his family, he had no desire to remain any longer in his home, which reminded him of a happiness that no longer existed. He started searching for a new place to settle, a place remote from lakes, rivers, or oceans. At long last, he came to an apparently ideal location. There he made the acquaintance of a wealthy man who, upon hearing about his sad experience, invited him to live in his home to be part of his family. In return, he was to become the teacher of the rich man's only son. The son became exceedingly fond of him and when he grew up and got married, he asked his teacher to stay with him to become the teacher of his future son. In due course, a son was born, and when he was old enough, he received lessons from the Brahmin. One day, the family decided to make a pilgrimage to the Ganges, India's most sacred river. Naturally, the Brahmin was asked to accompany the family. At first, he resisted the family's pleading, and then when he revealed to them the reason why he was reluctant to participate in the pilgrimage and to bathe in the holy Ganges, they reassured him that they would have a special enclosed bathing area constructed for him and their son. In order not to offend them, and especially his beloved pupil, he then agreed to come along. As soon as the Brahmin and the boy entered the enclosed bathing area, the boy changed into a crocodile, seized the Brahmin, broke through the fence, and carried him towards the open river. Before drowning him, he addressed the Brahmin. Don't you recognize me? I am destiny. <laughs>